Hi and welcome. I'm at another uh, Desert Industries thrift store and I am going to take you to a thrift store that I've, I think I've shown you that one before in our little town here and hopefully I can find something different there but I love my Desert Industries because they have great prices and I'm looking for some um, more rustic looking 4th of July patriotic type decor or something that I can turn into that. So I'm wanting to do a video to show you patriotic uh, thrift flips. So I wanna make sure that I have enough things to show you and I hope that you'll join me for that video later on. So let's get in and see what they have. So hopefully I can get some uh, patriotic stuff and some things to resell, of course. Stay tuned. So of course I head straight to the hard goods and I wanted to give you kind of a visual outside of just the small little shelves this time. And I'm in the wood section here and right off the bat I find this and I think it's just a, a paperweight but I'm not 100%. It's myrtle wood and I know myrtle wood is valuable um, and people collect it so I picked that up. And then just in the wood section there's a lot of crafts that people have uh, created. There are extra pieces. This was interesting for a garden, um, but it was kind of weird too at the same time for me. Um, I just couldn't think of anything I could do with it. Definitely not for resale. I'm not sure what that was. It looks like some kind of a digital clock or something maybe. This I thought was really cute. It does need some touching up, but I picked that up. And this I thought was pretty cute, but again, I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if apples are in anymore. It was vintage. Cute little basket. I did like this blue, navy blue basket here for my uh, patriotic decor. That looked like a really well-made basket, but it wasn't marked or anything, so I left it. So these I thought, wow, those are pretty interesting. And I put them in my cart, and then later decided not to get them. And I fell in love with this cherub. It is a little newer, made to look old. Um, and I just thought that would be really cute Valentine's decor. And that was cardboard box. I still looked at it to see if it was more new or old, and it was newer. And that was really pretty, but it had no real markings on it, and it looked like it would probably break in shipping, so I kind of left that one. Now this is a canister. It is vintage, and it is made in Taiwan. Furio. And so I thought that was pretty interesting. And a set of three goes for, I thought a pretty good price when I looked it up. And the lid I thought was also ceramic, but it is wood. And it looks like somebody had painted it. So I picked that up. Now this flower, I don't know if somebody made this uh, or not, but it was, looks like from 1990 and there was nothing wrong with it no breakage just a little wear on the the paint so i'm here in the cups there's more of the milk glass little mugs or cups and i have a bunch of those already these were flash painted i thought they might be older and they're glasses i don't know why they didn't put them in the glass area instead of the mugs but anywho now these were super pretty and I thought, hey, I saw the plates not too long ago. So I went and looked and yep, there they are. But there were only three plates and four cups. And they really didn't sell for much for each set. So I ended up just leaving them. So I'm back in the Christmas aisle because I saw them put some stuff in there. And this milk glass cauldron has a texture to it. I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cool. And I have to find a milk glass piece every time I go. If I don't, I get sad. <laughs> I 
These here are really neat looking. They are pottery and they, I looked them up and they go for good prices. So I'm glad there was a set of two. Now this, I'm correct me if you know the name. I think it's a Libby vase and it has the etching if you can see and it's the cobalt blue. I thought it was really pretty, so I picked that up for resale. Now this is a, a Liz Claiborne purse that I picked up, and it is pretty clean, and I wanted to show you how neat it is, and show you the little marking there. It's Liz Claiborne. So I did end up getting that one. So then as I'm leaving the purses, I'm showing you those uh, couches are still there, but they did get rid of a few of the other ones and just some of the other furniture that's there. This is an old vintage looking cabinet and I'm not sure where it came from or what it was used for, but there's no shelves in it. And it was kind of spooky and I don't, it looked like it might have some kind of a, a evil spirit attached to it. Um, this lamp I thought was really super pretty and I think it was made to look old because it was more of a resin and the cord seemed newer. But I wanted to show you what the lamps all look like. That one there is vintage and heavy and that one I think would be beautiful in a bedroom, on a nightstand or a dresser. I just thought that one was really pretty. But I don't like to ship something like that so I ended up leaving that now here are some of those uh, chairs that I told you that you can find for cheap at the thrift stores to repaint like my video that I did for my outside uh, fence to sit by my fence so watch that video that I have linked above I just want to take some time and give a shout out to my friend Alex at chapter 2 vintage company she is amazing and her husband's amazing. They have this team that they do and their family is just the sweetest, cute little family. And they do thrift with me videos. And they also have another channel, House on Noble, where she does a lot of her crafting. But if you love the thrift with me videos like this one, you'll wanna go check them out. So don't waste any time and head over there after this video. Behind here, I moved that and saw it, and that I know I could see it was vintage. Super cute, and once it's cleaned up, I think that would be a really good piece. And I'll show you the comp at the end. So I ended up picking that one up. So I found this piece, and I always use those for craft projects. You can use it with just about anything. So when I saw this piece, I thought, oh my gosh, it's a mid-century um, ice bucket or chip bowl and the wear on it is horrible. Looked like somebody put it in the dishwasher, unfortunately. Now this piece is total vintage and I just fell in love with it and I had to have it so I ended up picking that up. Now this is really interesting. This piece is a Nordic wear bunt pant or cake pan and it's a gingerbread house. So I ended up picking that one up. And we are in a different section back inside and I found this going back through. It's so beautiful. I love the hummingbird stuff, so I ended up picking that up. Okay, we're headed over to that other thrift store. So here we are in that small, let's, I guess it's not too small, but it is a, a personal owned thrift store and just kind of zooming in on the little areas that they have here in the front as you walk through and they kind of try to stage it it looks kind of cute and it seems like it's a mixture of new and old stuff here now this is their closed-in cabinet where all the higher end stuff is and they want to pretty penny in that cabinet. So here's some depression glass. It was just a creamer, just the one. And they wanted $5 for it, so I almost was gonna get it because of memories with my mom, but I ended up leaving it. 
and that was super cute but again just clear glass and nothing really special so here's some other things and I think they're trying to get rid of this stuff but it was still on a kind of a higher end price now these moon and star cups were really interesting but they wanted eight bucks a piece for those now this is all just in general stuff the flag stuff was interesting but nothing that I wanted to incorporate with what I was looking for I was gonna get this older looking flag but it, I noticed it was falling apart so I put it back and here is the more decorative stuff for home decor mixed of new and old again and a lot of little trinkets and stuff but again nothing this time was like really telling me you have to take me home here in the glasses there were some older looking ones like these but they were kind of um, not in good shape and they did only want four dollars for the set but it wasn't I kind of looked them up they weren't going for very much now these I have similar ones at home and I have a set of four already and they're wearing off here and I think they wanted two dollars a piece for them because they are vintage these hammered tin or hammered metal pieces are really super cool and pretty but they wanted five dollars for this one and I probably wouldn't get more than ten to twelve dollars for it so these I thought were interesting but they were newer as you can see by the handle and they did want quite a bit for them I think nine bucks each and those Aztec bowls they're chip and dips but the bowl in the center was missing and I thought they were pretty cool and of course a turkey plate platter okay now for the haul I picked up this at the last minute on the first uh, thrift store desert industries but if you're as old as me you'll know what this is and it's um, a game of pickup sticks and this is vintage this box and I know that because I used to play it <laughs> so I am that old but let's see if I can get this back in there here we go I just thought it was cute and I might list it for like 10 bucks um, if I do sell it I just I don't know memories sometimes just make me want to buy stuff so then I got these four of them and they're cute to just sit on for decor anywhere for your um, farmhouse or rustic kind of decor and they're little molds you can even use them for cakes or uh, cookie dough um, and jello of course but I thought those were really cute to decorate with and I have some already but I thought it would be cute to grab a few more then this piece of wood it's a wood base and it has legs um, or kind of like legs it needs to be touched up and of course cleaned I paid a dollar fifty for it and um, I had planned on finding my jars to put on here so I have three bicentennial blue jars that are old with the lids and the clamp and everything and I've been wanting somehow to display it as a set and I found these and I think they'll fit perfect in there but I couldn't find the darn jars so I don't know what I do with them but they are really pretty <laughs> maybe when I find them I will incorporate it into another video but I that's what I got that for and I'm not sure if I'm just going to touch up the black or if I'm going to maybe uh, paint it white and distress it I don't know yet so we'll see about that and then there's this cute little basket I thought that would be cute with some flowers dried flowers maybe um, in it and to set with my 4th of July or patriotic decor I paid 75 cents for that and it's just really cute I I just love that one and speaking of 4th of July I thought that was cute to go with it 
and it's a Christmas saying on it, but I'm going to take that off and use the star and have it sit with it, you know, leaning up against something else. I just thought that would be really cute. And again, I might just sit that with it just because it's red. I paid 50 cents for that one. And I think, I'm not sure where that came from, but it might be even vintage. But it looks like it, it was um, maybe something like a knob or something, I'm not sure. But I probably will end up just unscrewing that and just using that as a decor piece like that. And then still on the 4th of July patriotic theme, I got this and I thought it would be cute to rust it out similar to the star because it has the stars on it and then put some uh, red, white, and blue fabric strips or ribbon and have it tied on it and just have it sit with all of the patriotic decor. So that's another uh, DIY project. Then if you follow me, you know how I love hummingbirds. It's a special meeting for me with my mom. And this was such a, a really beautiful piece. And it looks like it is a party light piece. And it's supposed to probably go on to something like a glass piece. And then you put a candle in it. Um, so I'm going to try to incorporate that onto something. Uh, but I just loved it. And it was only, what was it? 50 cents. So you can't beat that. And I just, I think it's adorable. Then I always pick up odds and end pieces. This is, I don't know what, but if I wanted to make a homemade lantern, wood lantern, this would be perfect for the top of it. Um, or for a lid of something, um, or to hang this way and then put towel through it. I mean, there's so many different ways you could use this. And that was 75 cents, so I always pick these up for DIY projects. Then I found this. It is glass or ceramic. I'm not sure. I don't, it doesn't look homemade, but maybe they're just really good at it. But it says to Thiel from Jane Martin on December of 1994. And I don't know what ES means. Oh. Jane Martinez, <laughs> she couldn't get her name all the way on there. That's cute. And so I paid 75 cents, and it is adorable. And look at the little leaves over here. So it's going to clean up really pretty. There's no broken pieces. If you look here, it's just worn off a little. And I have some green paint if I need to touch that up, but I don't think I will. It's just too pretty. I just loved it, so I got that. And then, I am not sure, if you know what this is for, let me know. It's just like a really nice wood, and it's myrtle wood. And I'm not sure, I paid 50 cents for it. But I think under there, there's a hole under that sticker, but I don't want to take the sticker off. Because I can feel that there's a hole like it was supposed to go on top of something. I don't know. So it, this looks like it's just dust and maybe splatted paint that just needs to be picked off and cleaned up. But I don't know. It caught my eye for 50 cents. I have to look it up still. Then this thing is pretty cool. It's a cauldron and I think it's milk glass. It looks like milk glass and it's textured, if you can see, textured on the outside of it. Paid 75 cents for it. It has the wire hanger and I just thought it was super cool. It does look like it has, no, nope, it might be just dirt. But I love it because it's milk glass. So that might be just mine, but we'll see. Um, I haven't seen any comps yet, so if I find one, I'll put it up, but I thought that was pretty cool. Then I have 
this. It's um, frosted glass. All the pieces are there. And I guess I should have got them out. Hold on and let me get them out. Okay, so I got them out and they're all there. Even baby Jesus, if you can see him. Barely. <laughs> but it doesn't sell for much. I just picked it up because I thought it was a neat piece. And they're just tiny, if you can see in my hand. Just miniatures. So, I thought it was a good deal for a dollar. So, I like that one. And hold on, let me move it out of the way. Okay, next is this cutting board type of thing. And it's just a de decor piece. And I paid a dollar fifty for it. And it looks like it hangs on the wall. Or you can use this rope. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. This rope type piece here. But I thought it would be cute to put with the rest of my wood uh, cutting boards that I'm going to decorate with and and have that just leaning in or I might just set it somewhere. But I thought it was really cute. I need to, of course, clean it up a bit and touch it up with some oil, but it is a really cute piece. Then I got these three. I've never seen this size of terracotta pots before, and they used them for candles, I think. So I paid 50 cents, if you can see in there. They used them for candles, but I'm gonna clean them up and probably just use them outside on my wall uh, shelf, out, outside at that fence that I did, and put some cute little fake greenery in, or I might even do some cute little flowers. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> if I get around to it. I always say I'm going to do all these things and then I end up not doing them. Then this one. Now I'm not sure if she's vintage or not. She looks really vintage. Look at her cute little face. She's so cute. Or he. I don't know. It's a cherub. <laughs> and it has, oh I didn't realize it had broken flowers but right here darn it but i wasn't gonna sell i was just gonna keep it for myself anyway so i'm good with that and put it out at valentine's day i paid 75 cents and it is made in china but i think it is vintage and it has something on it but i can't read it sorry but i thought it was adorable anyway we can figure out some way to fix that I can get some dry clay or fast drying clay or something to put on there. I don't know. We'll see. And then this little guy, I thought he was super cute. It's got a tiny little candle in there. And I don't even know. I think I paid 50 cents for him because there was no price. And then on the back, he says Merry Christmas. So he's just going to be one of my little fillers that I put here and there at Christmas time. And same with this little fella here. This one's vintage as well. Super cute. I had uh, seen it, I think it's made in Japan. I had seen it there a few times before and it's still sitting there so I felt sorry for it and I brought it home. And I'm like, you're just too cute. So, cause my thing's usually Santa's and not snowmen, but I'll just incorporate her somewhere. <laughs> Then this vase, it is dirty. It needs to be cleaned up there and maybe touched up with um, some chalk paint uh, if I need to, but it's vintage and paid $1.50 and I'll have the comps on it, but they were, for two of them, was a pretty good price. So. For the price I paid for this, I thought for one I could sell it for maybe about 20 bucks. So it's really pretty. So I thought I'd pick that up. Then I got these. Now these sell for quite a bit. I think um, two sold for a good price and I'll have that comp. 
because I don't know exactly the price, but I know that, that they went for a good amount. And so they're just really cute. And it's like a clay. They said it's hobbyist piece, but I don't think so because they're like perfectly round unless they're really good. And they made several because there's some on eBay. Not sure about that. And then this beautiful piece. I love this sconce, so this might be hanging in my entryway with all my vintage stuff. And look how pretty that is with the embossed flower there and the mirror. This is vintage mirror. And it's just really cool. And two sold, I think it was $85 if I'm right, for the pair. And I looked everywhere, there wasn't another one, just this one. And so I'm not gonna sell it. I'm just gonna keep this one for myself. I do need to fix down here because it needs one of those plastic or rubber pieces around the sconce so that it fits inside the candle holder. But other than that, it is beautiful. I'm just in love with it. It was hiding up on top of the metal shelves. Then we have this bunt pan uh, that is a gingerbread house. It's really cute. I love it. And it is Nordic wear, which I don't know if you know, but Nordic wear is highly collectible on certain neat pieces like this and it could go for quite a bit of money and I think I paid a dollar if I'm sure yep I paid a dollar and it's just really cute and I you put a cake in it or yeah it's a bump cake so a bump pan so that would be really cute to put gingerbread cake in there and then frost it and so that one goes for quite a bit and I'll have that one probably on my Etsy or eBay or both then this one I think this is a Libby vase cobalt blue and see if you can see it's hard to tell uh, there we go can you see the etching in it. It's at the top and at the bottom. And I thought that was really a pretty bud vase. And I paid a dollar. And I'll probably have that one listed for 20 on my Etsy. But I haven't looked it up quite yet, so I'm not sure what it, what the comps are going for. Then we have this purse. This is a Liz Claiborne. It's in really good condition and it's just really pretty. And it has this tie on it. And I found similar one on wine, but um, I think it was not this uh, texture. I think it was like a uh, ostrich texture but I paid four dollars for it and I'll show you the inside here I think I showed you in the video but the inside's pretty clean and it has a middle pocket and it can't be too old I don't think but at least it's still vintage and there's the marking Liz Claiborne and it's just has areas for pens, so I guess maybe it is vintage. <laughs> Unless you want to put your lipsticks there. But I thought that would be a good one to resell on Etsy or eBay. So I really like that. And then if I wanted to use it, I could use it if I don't sell it. So these are vintage uh, canisters and they did not have the third small one but um, 
I'm thinking I'm gonna redo these and keep them for myself, but the lid is wood on the top, if you can see that. I thought that was interesting. At first I thought it was all ceramic, but it's, it's wood, and then I'm gonna have to probably just repaint it or strip it down and go with the natural wood. That might be pretty, and then the white top. But this is all glass ceramic, and it's vintage because it's made in Taiwan. And I, I'll show you the comps of these and what I found out on those, but I'm keeping those for my kitchen. I wish I had the third one, but two is okay. So that's my haul, and I didn't get anything at the second thrift store. They were too pricey, and they really didn't have very interesting pieces. And I'm just so used to, I guess, my Deseret Industries with the dollar and two dollar prices. So I ended up with nothing from that other store. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Check out my next video, or it might have come out before this video, but if you haven't seen it, you want to check out the video that I'm going to be doing some uh, patriotic DIYs. And um, i got to get that out soon, so it may be before this video. And you'll have to go back to watch it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the trip this time. And let me know what you think. And if you saw anything during the video, let me know if I should have got it or if uh, some of this you are like, uh, why'd you pick that up? But let me know. I'm so glad you made it this far and I hope that you all will just have a wonderful day.